The Commandante MK4 is Commandante's latest update in their C40 range. In this video, we're going to talk about the upgrades themselves, as well as whether it's still relevant and worth it in 2022. It's been released for a little while now, um, but we wanted to kind of hold off, get used to this grinder, use it for a little bit ourselves before making this video. Now the first major upgrade on the MK4 is the polymer jar. So just like the glass jars, these screw into the base of the Commandante. You grind your coffee through the grinder and into the jar and it's collected here. So these jars are indestructible. You cannot break them. They are plastic. One of the downsides to them is that they get a little bit more scratched up. But as you can see, it's not too scratched up. Um, for the amount of usage that this grind has already gone through. I've taken this on trips and I use it many times a day and it still is not scratched up. Um, the best thing about it though is having peace of mind that this is in my bag or this is in my uh, carry-on and it's not going to break. That's the best thing about this job. So when you buy your MK4, you actually still get a glass jar. It's like the amber jar. Um, but included now instead of having two glass jars you get one glass jar and one of this indestructible polymer jar. Um, as well as this Commandante have also released the colourful polymer jars which you can buy um, in addition to that. They're, I think they come in orange, red, yellow and pink um, and yeah they're also available to purchase later if you want. I think just a side note, they look really good with the black, the metal black Commandante. I don't know how well they look with the wood grain, because I think already the wood grain on the Commandante is pretty perfect. The second upgrade to the MK4 is the new internal structure. So everything else is the same, the burrs are the same, you've still got the body and everything. The way that these grinders work has not changed. But what has changed is the internal structure. These three bar, these three little axle pieces are now ho hollowed out. And the reason they do that is to stop having co coffee beans get stuck in that centerpiece, which was a problem for the MK3. I don't know if you've ever experienced this or if you've had an MK3 in the past, but it does tend to get stuck here. So having this little upgrade, it's not a massive upgrade, but it definitely is in the right direction. So there's one more upgrade that you might not notice straight, up, straight away. Um, and what it is, is the wood that they use on their grinders is now sustainably and ethically sourced. So this is, it's not something that you would see drastically, but it is the reason why you've seen so many Commandantes change um, over the years. So you've seen stuff like the Zebra, Chocolate Fine Line was really popular at one stage. They stopped making those grinders, I believe, because of availability. They could not source enough of that product. Um, as well as that, they've stopped making those and they've started made, making stuff like the Liquid Amber um, and the American Cherry now out of fully sustainably sourced wood. So this is a big upgrade. So as you know, the Commandante has been king of hand grinders for the good part since 2014 around then. Um, and that's when they came out with their first grinder. So in my opinion, it is the best grinder on the market, especially seeing as it's a hand grinder, you don't have to worry about those additional expenses that you, that you find in uh, electric grinders. So just something to be mindful of whenever you're buying grinders, a $400 hand grinder compared to a $400 electric grinder, you're going to have other expenses that take away from things like the quality of the burrs, the design of the burrs, the quality of the grinder, such as having a motor, having electric, electric appliance, you know, certification, all of that sort of stuff that you need in an electric grinder, you don't need to worry about in a hand grinder. So straight off the bat, they've had that advantage. Um, if you are looking for a hand grinder in the market now, is the Commandante still worth it? I think so, yes, and here's why. They're always striving to 
be better, which we love. We love seeing these little upgrades, it gets us excited. It's not a huge upgrade from an MK3 to the MK4, but I think these things are definitely a step in the right way. The second thing, the brand. They've been doing a great job for so long. When you buy a Commandante, you know you're gonna have a fantastic experience. Um, and you know it's going to last for a long time. These grinders, they last. They're built to last. I think if you're looking for the best sort of precision and the ultimate sort of uh, features, maybe this isn't the best grinder for you. There's other grinders on the market with you know, better grind size, adjustability, and lots of different things. There's some grinders with two burr sets inside, so if you're after the best specifications, maybe a Commandante isn't right for you. But if you're after a grinder that has really good repeatability, consistency over the years, and is beautiful, like with the wood grain and the wood finish, I think Commandante is definitely the grinder for you. So, if you like this video, if you want to see more stuff like this, let us know. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.